Hey there folks, and welcome back to the I Am CDB project. I, of course, am your host CDB, you're not, and today we're going to do a dual purpose video. I'm going to test this uh, test soap that I received from an artisan, and I'm also going to do a bit of a bow lathering demo because I get a lot of questions from folks on how to bow lather. Um, the first piece of advice, get plenty of product in your bowl. I happen to have pressed a good bit of product in here. Um, it's not maybe as much as you think because I've spread it about, but it's the size of, say, a couple of almonds or so. If you think you have enough, maybe add a little bit more if you're struggling. Uh, more product's really not going to hurt you. And trust me, you're not going to run out of product. What I'm doing now is uh, wetting uh, my brush. Now, my personal technique is that I like to squeeze out the vast majority of the water, and it will be fairly uh, damp, and I will begin to swirl, and I'll go side to side, you know. Whichever way you're swirling, if you're a big time swirler, make sure you go back the other direction too as to sort of wear the brush equally. All those, these uh, synthetic brushes are um, fairly resilient. One of the things you'll notice is um, you'll start to build, oops, got <laughs> lather there in my uh, eye nearly. Anyway, as you start to build lather, if it's foamy from the get-go, don't add more water, all right? Just continue to swirl, go back and forth, swirl. And when it starts to get a little pasty or maybe a little thick, then add some water to it. So if you add too much water right out of the gate, it'll be foamy to start with. So that's a clue that you're using too much water. With me using a fairly damp brush, I usually don't start off with too much water. As you can see there, we're already building a, a decent lather and it doesn't take uh, long. Now what will happen is as I continue to to do this and it thickens up, I'll add a little bit of water. When I do add water, it's going to be just a few drops at a time. Just a few drops at a time. No need to add a ton because you can always add more as you need it. If you add too much, it can really throw, throw off your balance and then you have to work the heck out of your soap to get it to do what you want to do it. Eventually, you can make it work most times, but if you add too much water, you'll maybe have to pour it out, start all over, who knows. Just add it gradually and you'll be happy with the result. Because as you can see here, we haven't put forth much effort at all and we're getting a pretty doggone good lather. This soap, I must say, artisan, you know who you are? That's a very rich lather. It never comes across on video but that's quite rich. We'll go ahead and add some more water just to see how it handles. Again, a few drops. Don't put it under there and pour a bunch of water in it. There is no need to do that. Just continue to add water, swirl, go back and forth, swirl, go back and forth. And as you go, you'll notice you get a nice creamy consistency, somewhat like yogurt like so, it'll have a sheen to it, which this one does. If you see lots of air bubbles, noticeable air bubbles, there's always air bubbles in it. But if it's really, really noticeable, large air bubbles, you might have too much water, um, your mix is off. So you need to continue to work it. And eventually you can usually beat it into submission. Look here, that's extremely creamy stuff. I'll, I'll get it out and, and uh, show it to you on my hands and mitt. This one, this particular formula has lanolin in it and goat's milk, which is known to be quite creamy, creamy, excuse me. This is really, re this is a fine lather. It's almost like um, sort of the consistency of Cool Whip, but a little bit heavier. It'll have peaks. Oh yeah, this is good stuff here. Let's, uh, let's get some of it out and uh, see what it feels like on our hands. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. So as you can see, it doesn't take long. You just have to work it, adding a little bit of a water, little water at a time, not too much. Continue to work it, go back and forth, swirl side to side. And as long as you add water gradually and continue to work your lather, it will turn into something nice. This is very slick, very rich. So the artisan who I'm testing this for, on the basis of just the lather and the richness of the lather, this feels outstanding. For those of you who still have questions, 
my best advice is get yourself a fine lathering bowl like this one, which is, in my opinion, the best plastic lathering bowl in the world. Um, and just take your soap and experiment with it. Look at that. That is super creamy. And this is exactly what you want. This consistency, which is like, you know, yogurt, Cool Whip, something like that. Practice while you're watching TV or something like that. You will find your own way eventually. There's no one way that works for everybody. Some people like to add a little more water at first. I think I saw Don Younger, and I think he adds a lot more water at first. I prefer to go damp and to add it, add it gradually, and we'll eventually get to the same place. You want a nice, creamy um, uh, lather with some density to it. It needs to be slick. There should be... Like when you rub your hands together, a little cushion in between there. It should glide nicely like that. If you get all those uh, components to your lather, you're doing a good job. The ultimate test is how does the shave go? If the shave goes well and you think your, your lather is crappy, hang on with it. Keep going. Eventually, you'll beat it into submission and get it the way you want to. Don't let anybody else tell you your lather is wrong. You're not doing it right. Do whatever works. And if you're getting great shaves, don't worry about it. Thanks, as always, for watching. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB. You're not.